but we see it so often junior season sometimes don't pan out the way you expect but those around Major League Baseball love that swing right there as he starts things off with a base hit with one out. Well, it's interesting, really. You're, you're getting some people that, that like him in the top half of the first round, but, you know, the, the truth is the conference numbers have. Oh, that one hits Meisner in the back, but he'll get up and he'll race to second base, and he'll get in there safely. That one goes on. Ground ball sharply hit out to Adams, and he'll make the play. So Missouri will leave one. We've played. There is Dillard with an opening walk. 2-2 <laughs> two, two to Kessinger. They may be able to roll this one for two, and they do. Gray says he was safe. And we will have our first replay review of this game. It was close at first, but your initial thought was he quick stepped it. Did he? I couldn't see the ball there. Could you? No. No. Ooh. There's no question that is a closer play than I anticipated. I think he's out. I think he is out. That's a great look at it right there. Yeah, if you can slow that down frame for frame, you might be able to tell. And again, what they want to see now, they want to see the glove. The then he's out. And if it if has to move frame, the glove, right. then he could be safe. It's yeah. that close. Yeah, you're going to stay with the call. Yeah. The one in the nine hole have been a bit of a revolving door for Ole Miss and not a ton of production. And that's why you see Dillard hitting first there now. So 60 ribbies. In the three hole in this lineup is pretty big number considering there's not. You talk about fill up a batter's box. Mm. Had a big hole in the left side of that infield and smashed it right through there. So first and second now. That's what I like about Cole Zabowski right there. 6'5, 235 pounds. And a big fella. Ground ball out to second. Gomez fields, throws, and the inning is over, and Ole Miss will leave a couple. Going to have to yeah. step it up. Etheridge hey. hangs in there and gets the strikeout. First out of the inning. Late in the year for the Tigers. Earling and Peterson, and there is a nice stab at third by Keenan. Comes up, fire it, and they will get Gomez. So now Thomas Broyles, first pitch he sees out to center. Olenek on the run, can't catch it. Looked like he might have taken a little bad angle on that one. Third double of the year for Broyles. Not about it, because when they left Baton Rouge, everybody thought, matter of fact, they were in. Boy, what an at-bat by James. Fouls off some pitches, lays off some other ones, and picks up an RBI. He'll have a double. It's back to back doubles for the Tigers, and they lead it one to nothing. Well, that's a good start for Missouri. Just coming off a really tough weekend where they got. Swing and a miss, hitting over, but Missouri does pick up a run on back to back doubles. By As of today. And I'll say this about strength of schedule. Burke and I, we've talked a little bit about it, too. There's a nice pitch there, two outs as Cooper Johnson is retired. Here. piece of that is too you know with the imbalanced schedule sometimes that strength of schedule could be down because they didn't grab all the toughest teams in the ACC Gomez can't handle the awkward hop and Servideo will reach with two outs well here's one more on Florida State the non-conference strength of schedule 218 swing and a miss and the inning is over from an offensive standpoint. And remember last year he had the bad hand that ended up costing the season. Base hit off the bat of Ryan Olenek. His average is at 351. It'll trickle up a little bit. Ryan hit 350 last year, so you know what his, what type of hitter he is. And a one-out base knock for the Rebs. Turn a fastball around quickly. And this is another youngster that looks like he's got some 
room to fill out. Just a freshman. One thing about those old Miss kids, they, they get in the weight room now. Oof. And that new weight room at their place wow. is spectacular. Have you seen that? No, and LSU's doing some things. Just is continues it, to grow. Is LSU doing some things? I didn't know that. Little blooper. Meisner on the run, makes the catch. Can he throw to second, double it up? Safe at second. Chris Cornelius, the shortstop, just wasn't at the bag. No, and that's a missed opportunity right there. Steve Beezer maybe going to talk about it, but I told you Meisner could go get it, and he hops to his feet, and for whatever reason, Chris Cornelius had just wandered off the base. Now, the glove might have gotten there, but yep. there's the only play for Cornelius to be in right there is with the foot on the bag ready for a force out. I think he got yeah. him. I think he got him. I think he's yeah. going to be out, but you're right. I mean, he should have been on the bag with both feet acting like a first baseman yeah. ready to receive the throw. Must know, but it takes it out of the – umpires here on the field takes it out of their hands they're going to say safe interesting swing and a miss and the inning is over so the rebels will leave a pair of runners on base and where does the ball need to begin so that it, it is a ends up being a good pitch to hit Kessinger's gonna have to make a quick throw and he does and they get the out good stretch over there from Adams or excuse me Graham and you see a little bit of that range from Gray Kessinger and the arm strength. Steve Beezer's not sure about it. He might want to review on this one. Kessinger, just a tough play because he does, is Keenan going to catch it or not? And then he gets caught on his heels. Look how quick the wow. transfer and release is. And that I'm just telling you guys, he is a special infielder. And we got a handful of them in the league this year. Cam Shepard, airless in the, in the league this year for Georgia. Boy, we've had some tight ones, haven't we, boys? That is tight. Watch the glove move. Now, again, look where the foot is. If he's at the front of the base, he's safe easy, but the foot lands in the middle of the base. If you get to the front edge, it's not even close. I think he's still going to get this call. I think that'll be overturned. What do you guys think? Uh, just such a quick release. Yeah. That didn't go well. Yeah, but you didn't do it again, though, I'm sure. No. But people did give me crazy looks as I sat there and reminded myself out loud, I'm the cutoff, I'm the cutoff, I'm the cutoff. <laughs> uh, James goes down. Swing and a miss. Down goes Brumfield. So back-to-back -back strikeouts and now two outs in the inning as the lineup flips back to Chris Cornelius. It's about average. Well, when you look at Cooper Jones, I mean, you're talking about 1-8 all day long, 1-8, 1-8-5, and that's a big difference. Cornelius. Slips that one through that 5-6 hole on the left side. So first and second now for the Tigers. And this is where Mizzou needs their guy to, to come up with something big. You don't know how many of these chances you're He'll be a different guy in a 1,000 at-bats in the minor leagues. Mm. Called strike three. And they brought him back two days later out of the pen. This will get in between the defenders, and Adams starts the inning off with a double. His fifth double of the year, and it came at a great time for Rebels. How about his fifth extra? Thomas Dillard, just a ground ball. Oh, or that. Or that. That'll bounce off the wall. Back-to-back -back doubles, and the Rebels have tied this up at one. Here in the bottom of inning number five. And Gray will lay down the bunt. It's a good one. James throws to first. Kessinger does his job. All right. Let me ask you this question. Homers and 60 runs batted in. We know this. He can drive them in with the best of them in this league. And that, that one nicked him. On an 0-2 pitch. Ouch. Well, you can see where McDaniel, McDaniel, the catcher from Missouri, clearly on the outside part of the plate. Warner has been a little bit different this year for him, though. Base hit back up the middle. Dillard will touch home, and the Rebels have the lead at 2-1.
Well, they're on time for the off-speed stuff, aren't they? You heard Mike Bianco talking about. Ground ball out to short. They'll try to turn two, and they do. But the Rebels do strike for a pair of runs, and they take the lead tomorrow night in the ninth session. The top four seeds, and Zimmerman with a base hit. And the Gators find themselves in very unfamiliar territory. That's going to be a long five days. Yeah, the only discussion is with the four game when, eh, let's be honest, you would not feel super comfortable if you got swept on the road there and lose your last six games, right? Uh-oh. Oh, they got the double play. We'll continue that conversation next inning. But how about the play from Olenek? Speaking of Ryan out in center field, you saw a glimpse of his arm as he just kind of flung that. All things are clicking at all cylinders. Give me Caracy, 100%. Meisner will corral that in center field. So Cooper Johnson with the base hit. And you, you got three up, three down out of Olenek in a save situation against a, a good Tennessee team. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to you to run him back out there and see if he can do it back-to-back -back times? Runes, what you think? Well, ninth pitch of this at bat. Ground ball. Kessinger Ooh. right underneath his glove. Just missed it by a fraction. And we'll keep an eye on that Ole Miss bullpen now. Right back to Kessinger. Steps on the bag. There's a double play. Happiest man on the field is Will Etheridge. Etheridge at 100 pitches. Swing and a miss. 101 was pretty good. What a day for Will Etheridge. Dillard. Back-to-back -back hits now. He's two out of three with a walk today. Where he is. There's a walk to Kessinger first and second now. And here comes your three-hole hitter, Tylen, Tyler Keenan. Breaking ball. Base hit. What a job by Olenek. And they're sending him. Here's the throw home. Out at the plate. Dillard is gunned down at the plate, and the inning is over. Come on, three, four, get him. Yeah! Called strike go. three. Here we go. It healed up about a month ago, and he has been really good. And speaking of really good, Tyler Myers has come in out of that Ole Miss bullpen. Yeah. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, inning is over. Three strikeouts for Tyler Myers in the eighth. That junior year, man, it was, I've never seen anything like it. He got, to, ooh, that ball's hammered to right. Broyles will watch it at the bottom of the wall. Meisner scoops it up, but a double for Servideo. His second hit today. We talked about it. This old Miss lineup was really going to peak. They needed these two guys. Out to center field, Meisner back pedals. Missouri down a run. The one, two, uh -oh. hit him right in the back. Split the four and the zero. And that's probably not the worst thing no. that could happen to you. That looked like the old unintentional intentional walk right there. I mean, that was two very Called strike three, ball game. Olenek does it. Gets the save for starter Will Etheridge. And the Rebels moving on in the SEC tournament. Big time. 87-mile-an-hour heater right on the outside corner. So he went in for strike two, away for strike three, and the blade.